guys, this is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So I have a great video planned for you today and it is all about the re-release of Pat McGrath Mothership for Decadence. So this is not a test. This is not a drill. The rumors have come true. She has answered majority of everybody's prayers and Pat McGrath has decided to re-release Mothership for Decadence. So if you want, don't really remember, this is what uh, Pat McGrath's Mothership 4 looks like. It came in this beautiful packaging of this crown. And it was kind of like the inspiration behind the palette because you have all of these beautiful jewel tones. So this is Mothership 4. And it released initially, I want to say in 2017, following the original release of the first three Mothership palettes. Now this was always marketed as limited edition. And a lot of people did not get their hands on it, I think, at the time because she had just released the three palettes and we were just like, okay, these palettes cost $125. We were in sticker shock and people were not grasping the concept. But Pat McGrath has been around for a while now, so everybody's into the palettes and a lot of people missed out on the chance of picking up Mothership 4. So like I said before, Mothership 4 is all metallic formula but this is like one of my favorite metallic formulas because they are so punchy they're beautiful they're vibrant they're bold they have lots of glitter lots of shine you do not have to wet them and they blend out into the crease like a dream you don't even have to use a transition shade so a lot of people would think that this palette could be like an accent palette or just I use it on my own actually so it has a lot of different uses for me. Emma Graf is actually going to re-release the Decadence 4 palette along with her Star Wars collab and it's the Skywalker collection so unfortunately you won't get this beautiful artwork anymore but you will actually get some actually equally as beautiful or more a little simplistic artwork for the Star Wars collab and I'll just insert a picture here. So as far as I can tell all the colors seem to be the same and there aren't going to be any changes just really the package changing because she is releasing it along with that collaboration. Now that collaboration has been coming out all along the month of December. She had too many palettes called Galactic Gold and Dark Galaxy uh, come out in that collection and then she is releasing the Mothership 4 Decadence on December 26th which is the day after Christmas. So if you want this palette I suggest you go over to patmcgrathlabs.com and put your uh, name in. She has a little email line where you can get updates about the palette. Usually the palette uh, will come out around 12 noon, but if you put your name in the engine for the subscribe to her uh, emails and all that stuff, you can get a code and usually you're available to purchase this palette at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As far as I know, this palette is only going to be probably more than likely on patmcgrathlabs.com and you know she has international shipping because a lot of people have been wanting this palette. So in this video, I have three looks for you, one palette, and then we're going to go over maybe a couple reasons to purchase the palette or maybe you want to pass because some of the shades have been re-promoted and you might have them in your collection already if you have picked up a few of the smaller palettes. So just a couple things to give you to think about and or if you already have this palette, you know you want to pull it out and get a little inspiration on some looks that you can achieve while using this palette that's already in your collection. So let's go ahead and talk about the shades that have been re-promoted. Uh, real quickly, as you know, the price is still going to remain the same as $125. So the first shade that has been re-promoted is Gold Standard. I mean, she has kind of made the standard when she talks about gold. Pat McGrath loves her gold, but this particular gold, she is not recreating the wheel and has shown up several times. I'm like, can't figure out which way I want to hold the palette. There we go. So this is the shade Gold Standard. Gold Standard has been re-promoted as an idol. It is also repaired in Metamorphosis, which is a six-pan holiday palette that came out in Christmas of 2018. And then it has also been in uh, the mini eye ecstasy kit that released in 2019 during the summer, which was subversive. And it's also going to be featured in the new six-pan palette, part of the Star Wars collection, Galactic Gold. Next up, another shade that has been promoted before is the shade Divine Meek. The only other place you can find Divine Meek outside of the Decadence palette is as an idol. Idols are her single shadow. Lapis Luxury is this beautiful teal shade 
and it has been repromoted as an idol, her single shades, and in the Eye Ecstasy Kits Subversive that came out in the summer. Those little Eye Ecstasy Kits were $25. The shade Blue Blood has been repromoted in the Eye Ecstasy Kit Subversive that came out summer 2019. The shade Sinful right here was actually repromoted in the Eye Ecstasy Kit Sublime that came out also in the summer of 2019. And last but not least, we have this silver shade right here called Sterling. And Sterling was also in Metamorphosis, which was a part of the Six Pan Palettes from 2018 holiday collection. I just wanted to like point that out because that does probably impact some people when they want to buy this particular palette because they might not realize that they have a good majority of the shades because six out of the 10 shades in this palette have been re-promoted. So let's go ahead and get into some swatches. First up, we have the shade Gold Standard. beautiful bright yellow gold then we have the shade inferno which is one of my favorite shades in this palette next up we have blue blood this is a beautiful eggplant maroon color i don't know i can't describe colors but you all get the point and then we have sinful which is a cooler tone gold. It's actually a really unique gold. And if you can just see the impact, this is what my fingers look like. You can just see how smooth these colors are when I swatch them. Next up, we have the shade Underworld, which is a beautiful navy blue. Then we have the shade Sterling, which is a bright silver. Next up, we have the shade Lapis Luxury, that beautiful teal shade. And then we have Divine Mink, which is one of my favorite shades also in the palette. So pretty. Ooh. And this is what my fingers look like for those. You can just see. Ooh. Next up, for the last two shades, we have Hedonistic, which is also one of my favorite favorite shades in this palette and it has some dual chrome nature it's kind of red and orange and gold in there and then we have enigma which is a beautiful like cool tone taupe and this is what my last two fingers look like so here are the swatches and this is arguably like the easiest palette i have had to swatch you know, sometimes it's hard to swatch those glitters and all of that stuff that comes in all these palettes. With this palette, it was super easy to swatch. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the first two looks. I have my eyelids primed using my Too Faced uh, Concealer. This is the Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shape Butterscotch. We're going to go in... First look I'm going to do with the palette, I think I'm going to do like one of my favorite looks that I like to do with this palette. Easy, simple, and I wear this when I go to work. If you hear noise, I'm fumbling with my brushes. And I'm trying out my refer brushes right here. These, I'm really, really trying them out. I actually got this set, um, purchased it on Monday. It's the holiday travel set. And Mel Thompson had a cold, it was on sale. It was still pretty expensive, but the cold really helped. <sighs> um, but you got a good amount of brushes. Just gonna tap that out. So I'm gonna start. Um, now, with these shadows, you don't necessarily have to use a transition color. So what I do like to do though, I like to go in with this um, Burnished Honey, or you could take any brown. You know, Pat McGrath has several browns in her collection. This is a single um, that is not present basically in any of of the palettes. So I'm going to use my brush by reference. This is a P07F and this is a prototype brush. It looks like this and so far I've been enjoying it. The brushes are really nice, smooth, so you don't have to worry about it. So I will be going back and forth with some of the prototype ones that I've had before. I was a Kickstarter backer and I did order the holiday set like I just mentioned before. So now I'm just throwing this burnished honey in the crease. You can throw any color you want to in the crease. 
you don't necessarily have to put anything in the crease because what I do like about these particular formula in the Decadence palette is that these metallics blend out like a dream. So easy. Changing brushes, going in with a rougher 02 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Inferno, one of my favorite shades of the palette. And I'm just gonna pick this up. This is such a simple eye look that I'm going to do. It's literally like a look that I wear when I go to work. And I love this shade because it's so neutral, but it's really different from any of the gold slash coppery shades that I have. So I'm just going to apply this on my lid. And you can wet these shades if you like, but I normally do not wet these shades. I love how they look on their own. I'm just gonna smooth that out across my lid. Literally, this is one of the first shades I used in a palette. I got this palette and I picked it up from UPS and like, oop, I'm wearing it today and I wore the shade to work. It's beautiful. Now I'm just gonna flip the brush over and I'm going to, I'm still using that same reference too, and I'm going to take the shade Divine Mink. Now actually I want to do Blue Blood. So I also, I kind of float in between these two shades right here. So I'm gonna take Blue Blood on the brush and I'm just going to pat that in right here. And I just kind of build up the outside. Like I said, so really the center of the show is the first shade. But we're gonna we want a little depth. And I really like using this shade. And like I said, it just blends out so nice. So now I will pick up another brush. One in refer 12 brush. And now I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. Make sure everything is pretty smooth. Going in rougher 15, I'm just gonna kind of blend out the side. And that is the look. I am finished. I will add lashes and stuff <laughs> later so you can get a better idea. But that is pretty much the look. Let's go on to this side. Now for this, for this eye, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take my Refer P07F brush, that's kind of like a mouthful, and I'm going to go in with the shade Enigma right here, and this is a cool tone shade, and I kind of like that we get some cool tone shades in this palette, and I'm just going to run this right in the crease as you kind of see me doing while I'm talking, uh, and if you notice, I did not go in with a matte shade is a transition. So I want you to be able to see how well this blends out. Now, like I said before, I do like how you get some cool tones and some brighter warm tones. So you get quite a bit to play with. So now I have that shade Enigma in the crease. I think I want to build it up just a tiny bit more. So I'm going to go back in and just kind of bring it down a little bit right here. Now going in rougher to brush, I'm going to take this beautiful navy blue shade and it's called Underworld. This is Underworld right here. And it's just, I mean, I really love that she put a navy blue in here because it's just so hard to find that shade. And I'm just going to pack this in my outer V. I'm keeping it controlled. I'm just kind of keeping it on the outer. So you definitely have some shades to deepen up. Oh, there I go again. <laughs> Y'all will lose me. So we definitely have some shades to deepen up our look. And 
I, at the moment, I'm going to leave my eye looking like this and then I will blend out in just a moment. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Sinful, which is such an interesting gold shade. And this is Sinful right here. I just flipped that rougher brush over and it was like something shedding there. And this is just such a different, unique gold shade. I'm just going to press this next to the shade Underworld. And I just love how smooth these shades are. Now, you can definitely use this palette, you know, as an accent palette. You do not have to be because, hey, come on, girl. <laughs> like... <laughs> I was saying before I realized I was doing one of my disappearing acts that you can use this as an accent palette. You know, you can definitely grab your mattes, mix and match other palettes, other pack of craft palettes, color palettes, you name it. You can just use it, you know? Now, going in with that prototype brush, 0F, 07F for rougher again. Just going to blend that out there. All right, I'm back. I'm not exactly sure where I left off because my memory card decided to be full. So I had to take some things off, but I was in the process of blending my look out using my refer uh, prototype brush and this is the 07F. So let's go ahead and <laughs> keep blending out right there. Going back in with that refer 02 brush, I'm going to kind of pack this together. I didn't want to use the fluffy blending brush. I didn't want to drag too much of that other color in. But I want it to look fused together, not one harsh line. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that shade Simple and lay it down. And for me, this is just such a really interesting gold. And I use it sometimes, but honestly, I haven't played with it a whole lot. Let me play with it. Because a lot of times when I dip into this palette, I think I come in for that red shade, but not have so many red shades. Or I come in for the blue or some of the cooler tones. I don't know. You know, sometimes you just want to step away from gold shadows. Now I'm going to jump back in a little bit more on Underworld. Kind of beefed up what we lost when we started blending out. Just to make the it really pop on that outer corner. Now I will just go back and smooth out my blending using that same rougher brush from before. Just the edges because I don't want to lose the brilliance of the blue. And now let's go ahead and I'm going to pop on some lashes and do some liner and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and this is the final look or the final two looks. So I added on my Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. Touched on my brows a little bit and I will leave the rest of my makeup details down below in the bottom. Uh, but I will point out that the lip I have on is Chestnut Lip Liner with Omi Lipstick by Pat McGrath. So I think that these looks came out really beautiful. They were super easy to create. So as you saw with this look, I decided to lay down a matte shadow, give ourselves a little bit of transition. And then with this look, I just went straight in with the palette. And both of these looks are very easy to recreate. It's basically the same look, you know. <laughs> Uh, kind of my signature look that works with my eye shape uh, just swapping out the colors pretty much like I said this is the look that I wear all the time when I use this palette I love this shade the shade is called Inferno I think it's so pretty it's a very nice complimentary uh, color to my skin tone it's gold but it's not gold it has some melanin it's copper but not copper if you get my drift and then it pairs nicely with putting blue blood in the outer uh, V or putting, what is that? <laughs> Divine Mink right there. All the shades, they blend out so smooth. So like I said, I just love this palette. I'm back and it's time to get started with the final look. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Burnish Honey again, taking that refer prototype brush, 07F. I'm gonna go ahead, just place a little in the crease up here, just so we have a little nice wash of color. So I'm going to try something out. I hope it turns out all right. I kind of looked at this color scheme 
on my hand. I was like, ooh, that, that would be popping. So we'll see. We shall see. Hopefully it doesn't transcribe into one big old hot mess on my eye. But we shall see. Now, I am going to, since I have that little base shade down, I just have that pretty much where I want it to be. Keep my reference zero two brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Divine Mink. And I'm just going to pat that on the outer V right here. Okay. Now, I am going to take, let's see. Like I said, I hope this doesn't transcribe into a big old mess of my eye. I'm going to take that same reference zero two brush. I'm going to pick up the shade Hedonistic. Oh, and I'm sorry, I did not show you the other shades that I used before. This was Divine Mink, and then this is Hedonistic right here. So I'm going to pick up this shade. And I just wiped off that zero two. And I'm just going to layer it kind of on top right here. This is another favorite shade of mine in the palette. I Love this shade. I use it all the time. I kind of had to restrain myself from doing the look that I usually do with this. So I use with the other look because you guys have seen me do plenty of kind of single shadow red looks, especially when I used her um, palette that was, um, oh no, actually the single, I have what, Crimson Fire? So there we go. So I'm going to pop that there. I'm going to take a tiny bit more because I want some color mixing to go on here. And you'll see what I mean. So now that I have hedonistic down, which actually has some of uh, some duochrome pinky red slip with a little gold in there. Going in, taking same brush. I just keep wiping it off in my little makeup towel. Going in with Lapis Luxury. This is Lapis Luxury right here, this beautiful turquoise shade. And you you know, like I pointed out, well, I point out when I do my swatches, if you have seen the shade before, it was definitely an idol. And I'm just patting that in. And like I said, I kind of want it to be a little purpley on the outside. So I think we might win there. We'll see. And I'm just laying this shade down across the lid. I'm going to leave a little bit of that peeking through and then we'll see. I was just trying to, like I said, I'm trying to do a little color mixing here. We'll see where we, we get with this, okay? So it kind of turns into a little hint of purple right there.
Here to you look at like hedonistic <laughs> these shades, yeah. Okay, that's all I want because I don't want to take too much off away from it. Okay, there, there we go. Now let's see because I don't want it to be too stark. I'm going in with that reference zero two, no additional product. So let's move it out. But I think I will pick up a tiny bit of lapis luxury which is that turquoise and dot it right there. Yep, and just kind of flick out the rest of it. Oh, I'm liking this. It's like a little sparkle party on my eye. Mm -hmm. And when you turn the light, it just, it just keeps changing. So, let's go ahead let me do my other eye and I'll be right back and let's talk about the palette, okay? Okay, so I did my other eye and put my lashes on. I want to dip back into the palette and I'm going to take my Sonya G pencil brush and we're gonna go in with Lapis Luxury and kind of tie this look together. I'm going to put this on my bottom lash line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run it underneath here. So I am back and this is the final look and I hope you guys love it. I just think it looks so pretty and I feel like I have a little disco ball on my eyes and sometimes it's fun to just play with new techniques and I was like mixing the colors and I was just like, ooh, I hope it turns out cute and it did. So this is part of the reason why I like this palette so much because the formula is just so easy to work with. It doesn't require a lot. Not to mention you can either use it as a standalone palette or you can use it as an accent palette. So it just really depends on what you do. And I like that you can really blend out these metallic shades. I've said that so many times when she puts this formula in her palettes and it's one of my favorite favorite formulas to play with because the metallics are just so bold, they're smooth, they're creamy, they're glittery, the light catches them the right way, and you can shear them out or you can make them pack a punch. So I think that is just so important when you're talking about a palette, especially if you're going to pay this type of money for this palette. Now, I think that this palette just offers so much because you can definitely do some warm and some cool tone looks with the palette, and that's why I do appreciate this palette because I I don't have a lot of cool tone shadows in my palette but when I come in my collection excuse me but when I come to this palette I'm like okay I can pop in and kind of do this and cool tones are not my favorite but when I play with this formula I like it because it's such a great formula then of course you have the warm tones and then you have these opulent jewel tone shades like you have the sterling and you got to have the uh, gold standard and this lapis luxury it is so beautiful so overall i think that this is a fantastic palette as you guys know so but you have some things to consider if you're going to think about purchasing it now if you've been wanting this palette and it got away from you you should absolutely get it okay because who knows if this is going to come back or not people did not think it was going to come back but it came back now there are some things to think about like i mentioned before before we started the looks there are six shades that are repromoted so check your collection before you purchase these things anytime pat mcgrath comes out with something and it seems like a lot and some of the shades look a little similar i'm always looking to make sure there's no crossover shades and so i mentioned to you that six of these shades are crossover so you want to make sure that you're purchasing it and you don't have these shades too many times repeated now if it's worth it to you where the other five, four shades excuse me are like I gotta have it like for me when I purchased this palette on upon the initial release what really drew me into this palette was the shade hedonistic which is right here the shade inferno that really brought me in this shade right here and those shades are not promote it anywhere else but those are the shades that initially brought me in and this is prior to these shades being re-promoted now if you don't a person that doesn't have maybe like those little eye kits because that's really where you're finding these shades from the little 25 dollar eye kits or the idol collection and the idol collection had a lot of re-promoted shades meaning those single shadows then, then this might be a good buy for you because technically the idols 
aren't really a good buy because we're talking about $25 for a single shadow where you can just get maybe your lapis luxury in here. You can get the divine mink in here. You can get the gold standard in here if you wanted those shades. Not to mention, uh, it's so it just depends on what you want to do, honestly. But overall, I think that this is a wonderful palette. I mean, the looks you can achieve from this palette are endless, and I love that. But it just all depends on what you want to do and what your collection looks like. So um, I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it inspires you to pull out your palette that you already own if you already picked this palette up and do some more looks with it and i just love using this palette so also if you haven't checked out my palette my video excuse me where i say i can only keep 10 palettes it was a tag video started by annette's makeup corner this is one of the palettes i said i am not going without okay so <laughs> this definitely made that list of 10 palettes so hope once again like i said before i hope you guys just find this video helpful and enjoy the three looks this one is my favorite look although the one i did first was also one of my favorite looks this is one of the looks i wear all the time because that's just a great kind of neutral look i did kind of amp it up just a little bit for the video but i just think that this one came out gorgeous as well so let me know down below do you plan on picking up the palette do you plan on just splurging or are you just like <sighs> No, I'm going to save my money. And then let me know which looks you like down below. And you already know what time it is. It is time for the chair dance. Check. Okay, I'm done, y'all. Wait, but please remember to subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.